Let's now learn how to compose a new email with the online application. To start a new email, go to your inbox and click on New at the top. The first thing that we want to do is type in the address of the person that we are going to send the email to. I'm going to type in my Hotmail address that I created. For the subject, I'm going to type in test message. When you type in a subject, try to summarize the message as best as possible so that you have a better chance that the person who receives the message will want to read it. Let's now write the body of our message. I'm going to paste in some filler text for this tutorial. Now I'm going to include an attachment of a picture that I want to send with the email. An email attachment is a file that is being sent with the email. To do that, just click on the link that says Attachments. You will now be taken to an Explorer window that will allow you to locate a file on your computer. For this file, I'm going to send a picture, so I'm going to go to my Pictures folder. When you have found the file, double click on it to attach it to the email. When you attach a file onto an email, your computer will upload the file to the email server to be sent. This can take a few minutes depending on the size of the attachment and the speed of your internet connection. You can add as many attachments to an email as you want, given that they do not exceed the maximum combined file size. For this email provider, the maximum combined file size that I can send is 25 megabytes. Email services are not meant for sending large files because they would slow down the time it takes to send the email. One more feature that I would like to talk to you about is the CC and BCC fields. The CC stands for carbon copy and is there so you can send a copy of the email to another person. The BCC stands for blind carbon copy. I can use this if I want to send a copy of the email to another person and I don't want the main person to know that I sent a copy of the email. An example of when you use this is when you are writing an email to a customer and you also want to send your boss a copy of the email. After you have attached the file to the email and you are done writing, click the send button to send the email. Another form of sending an email that I would like to talk to you about is replying to an email. When someone sends me a message that I need to respond to, I will click the reply button. When I do that, it will create a copy of the email with the person's name that it came from automatically placed into the to field. Notice that on the subject, an RE was added in front of the original message to let the recipient know that it's a reply message. On the body, a copy of the original message has been added for reference, and I am able to type a message above it. After you have typed in your response, hit the send button to return the email to the recipient. The last form of sending a message that I would like to talk to you about is forwarding. Forwarding a message means that you are going to pass on an email to someone else. It has almost the same format as the reply to message, only you will need to fill in the address of the recipient. You can also see that in front of the subject is an FW to let the recipient know that the message is a forward. If you want, you can add a message on top of the original message. In the next movie, we will take a look at how to use an email client to view our emails.